Hey there, content creators! Did you know that Filmora has some amazing drag and drop effects that can turn your clips into masterpieces? In today's video, we'll be sharing four cool drag and drop effects and three awesome transitions for your clips in Filmora. Keep watching for some creative inspiration! Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version, then install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. In our list, the first one is the shattered glass effect. First, place your footage on the track, then head to the effects and type shattered glass in the search bar. You'll find five different shattered glass effects to choose from. Pick the one you like and place it on your footage. Next, go to the effect settings and set the strength and opacity to zero. After two frames, change the strength and opacity and you'll see the cool effect. This effect can be really awesome for music videos or vlogs. The second on our list is the shake shockwave effect. First, place your video on the track, then duplicate it on track two. Next, head over to the AI tools and enable the AI portrait effect. Identify the spot on track 1 where you want the effect to start, then split the clip at that point. Now, go to the effects and look under the shake folder for the shockwave effect. Apply it to track and voila! You'll get a cool shockwave effect that instantly elevates your footage to the next level. This effect is perfect for dance videos or music videos. The third on our list is the retro effect. Place your footage on the track, then go to the effect and then to the retro folder. First apply the retro cinema effect. Now when you see a retro video, you may have noticed it has noise. And to add noise, apply the retro noise effect. And these two effects instantly transform your clip into a retro look. You can apply this effect to any video, such as vlogs, travel videos, music videos, or dance videos. The fourth on our list is the depth bokeh. Have you ever come across those cool miniature effect videos and thought about how to make them? Well, I've got the easiest way for you to achieve this effect in Filmora. First, just place your video on the track and then head to the Effects tab. Look for the Light folder and you'll find the Depth Bokeh effect there. Apply it to your clip, then go to the Effects settings to adjust the depth, size, saturation, brightness, and contrast. And voila! You've got the miniature effect in Filmora. This effect is really popular for corporate videos and city vlogs. The next on our list is a transition, push transition. First, place the background on the track, then add the default title and enter your text. After that, go to the transition and slide folder to find push transitions like push right, push left, push up, and push down. Next, place the push right transition on your background clip and adjust the transition duration by changing the time duration. Lastly, shift the title a few frames back and place the push right transition on the text as well. This will give you a really cool text animation effect. The next on our list is also a transition, Film Roll Transition, one of our favorites. You can use this transition on text or clip. First, place your first clip on the track, then place your second clip on the same track, then go to the transitions and in search bar type Film Roll Transition, and you will get four types of Film Roll Transitions. Place the transition one on the intersection point of clip two, and you'll get this cool effect. You can use this transition in your vlogs, or you can use it in tutorial videos to jump from one part to another. Next on our list is the Wipe and Erase Transition. Wipe transition is pretty similar to the Push transition, but it can be used for various purposes. You can find it in the Transition tab under the Slider folder. The difference between Wipe and Push transition is that the Push transition pushes the whole clip from the one side, but Wipe and Erase transition reveals the clip from one side. The difference between the wipe and erase transition is that the wipe transition has a smooth edge while the erase has a normal edge. You can use these transitions to show the before and after of the clip. If we color grade this clip, then split it from the middle and remove the changes from the first clip, then put the wipe transition between the two of them and set the duration of how fast or slow you want it to be, cool right? You can use it on text and graphics to make them more appealing. If you found this helpful, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you next time.